all right i have already launched the microsoft access all right and there's only one table as you can see here called the emp table salary table okay simple table uh, i have a id i have a employee name e name and a salary that's all with just three records and if i go to the design view all right then id is a auto number e name is a text and salary is actually a number and the only thing i'm gonna make use is actually the salary all right that's the only thing that i'm gonna make use of so let me just close this and i will create a query i'm not going to use the wizard all right so it doesn't matter here i will just close this but what i want to use is actually the sql if you don't see the sql just drop down and you will be able to see the sql view all right so i have my e name employee name select e name salary from my emp salary table okay so if i were to execute this by using the run okay my e name will appear the salary will actually appear okay nothing special okay but uh, I want to create a calculated field from the salary. What if I increase the salary by 3%? Okay, so I can come back to my salary here, put a comma, take the salary, multiply 1.03. So this salary 1.0 multiply 1.03 is actually going to be a calculated field. And if I run this, this is where the calculated field actually appear. So it is not stored, but it's actually calculated from the salary. All right. Uh, if you look on the top, you will notice that this is actually an expression so it's actually a mathematical expression that's why you have this but i don't like this expression title it doesn't tell me anything so let me just go back to the sql view and i can use s s is to set an alias followed by my block bracket okay the block bracket actually is for Microsoft Access. Uh, different SQL may use it differently, like some of them probably use a double quote or single quote. So you may need to check the different SQL requirement of the database. So for this, maybe I will call it new salary. And I will click run. Notice on top here is now called new salary. So I can actually create a calculator field as well as create a alias for the calculator field so to give it better meaning. But if I can do this for a calculator field, then what about this field over here? This is enim. What is enim? Well, I know it's an employee name, but can I make it better? All right give it a more meaningful title well let's try so i'll come to ename as maybe i'll call it emp name so i am using an alias all right on a field that is already existing in the in the table and i will run this now you see I have the EMP name on top. So hopefully with this small little example, you get to understand about calculated field, okay, as well as 
aliases that you can use to change the view or the looks of the column title.